Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The formatting toolbar displays buttons that you can click to control many of the common spreadsheet formatting tasks that enhance the appearance of your spreadsheets. You can set attributes like font style and size for the cell, change your cell's color, cell content alignment, or do any other beautifying tasks within your spreadsheet. So for example, if I type the word test into a spreadsheet, and then I click off of it to deselect it, later I can click it again to select it, and use the buttons within the formatting toolbar to change its appearance. There we go. It's also useful to note that toolbars in Excel will display themselves in one of two formats. They can appear as floating toolbars or embedded toolbars. The toolbars can also switch between these formats. Now the standard and formatting toolbars appear embedded in Excel. You could display them as floating toolbars, which have an independent title bar and are shown within the spreadsheet area, by clicking and dragging them into the spreadsheet area. To do that, put your mouse pointer over the left end of any toolbar till you see a four-pointed arrow, at which point click and drag it into the spreadsheet, and now it's a floating toolbar. You can move them around when they're floating, by putting your mouse pointer into its title bar and clicking and dragging. If you would like to close a floating toolbar, they have their own little X in their upper right corner you can use to close them out as well. You can also switch it back to being an embedded toolbar by clicking and dragging it towards the side of the screen in which you would like to embed it until it eventually embeds itself. Embedded toolbars can appear at the top, bottom, left, or right sides of the screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.